Oh, well, hey there, YouTube viewer. Lord Spody here. Now, hey, YouTube viewer, you've been watching that show Cosmos? I have, and I think it's a great show. And I've become a big fan of the star of the show, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's become a bona fide TV superstar. Now, he's an astrophysicist, but did you know that he was also a wrestler in high school and college and an award-winning dancer? Much more to the man than meets the eye. Now I was perusing the internet, checking out uh, Neil and some of the things he's done, and I found that there are a lot of people who really dislike him and dislike the show Cosmos. For the most part, very religious people. Now he goes on the show and he explains that the universe is 13, 14 billion years old, that it started as a small speck, smaller than the eye can see, and then just exploded. And the universe has been expanding ever since. He also explains that how the Earth is around 4.5 billion years old. Now, I was looking through the Internet, and I saw some people really object to that because, according to them, the Earth is only 6,000 years old. And not only that, the universe is only 6,000 years old, as far as they're concerned. Now, I have to scratch my head at that because it just seems preposterous that there are still people who think that. And uh, actually, a lot of people still think it. I was reading that as many as 46% of the American population think that the Earth and the universe is 6,000 years old. But it just doesn't make much sense because look in a telescope. The Andromeda Galaxy is 2.5 million light years away. So that means when you look up into the night sky and see the light from the Andromeda Galaxy, you're seeing light that has taken 2.5 million years to get here. So how is it possible that the Earth and the galaxy is only 6,500 years old when you look up into the night sky and you see light that has taken 2.5 million years to get here? It's that fuzzy math, you know, the kind that George Bush used to talk about. Now something else I don't understand about their thinking is dinosaurs. How do they explain them? Well, according to them, dinosaurs were created 6,000 years ago alongside Adam and Eve. Not only that, they say that dinosaurs were on the ark. Well, the ark was what? 475 feet long and 75 feet wide, according to the Bible. So how on earth did they fit a pair of brontosaurus? For that matter, how'd they get T-Rexes and Velociraptors on there? And wouldn't those dinosaurs just try to eat everything in sight? And on top of that, how are they feeding all these animals? It's just a little too amazing for me to even contemplate. You know, the movie Jurassic Park must have really freaked them out too, because in the movie they clearly state that dinosaurs were 65 million years ago. And that is what I think is fact. So clearly I'm in the 54% of people who don't believe that the Earth was created 6,000 years ago. And there's just simply too much evidence to contradict a mere 6,000 year old planet Earth. Now the Earth and life on it and the universe, it's all really pretty amazing, and I can see why some don't believe that it just happened by chance, that there is some sort of God. And there are those who believe that, yes, there is a, a higher form of being or an entity of some sort who just kind of let everything happen naturally and just sort of guided it. That's something I could possibly get behind. The Bible says that God created the earth in six days and that each day was a thousand years. But the reality is, if there is some sort of all powerful being, time is probably doesn't even exist. It's not something that can be measured. You know, the measure of a thousand years, that's something that man created. An all powerful being probably doesn't even have any concept of time the way we do. It just simply doesn't exist for that person or being or whatever it is. Well, tell me what you think though, and we'll discuss it. Lord's photo out.